Meantime, there are some new developments in the war between Israel and Hamas. For the first time in more than three weeks, hundreds of people waiting at the border between Gaza and Egypt have been allowed to leave. CBS News correspondent Tina Krauss has the details from Tel Aviv. Hundreds of Palestinians holding dual citizenship left Gaza Wednesday, including some Americans, through the Rafah border crossing into Egypt. Ambulances filled with dozens of injured Palestinians were also allowed to leave. Headed into Gaza, more humanitarian aid, though health officials say the supplies are still just a fraction of what's needed for the millions of civilians living in the Hamas controlled territory, which has been almost completely cut off since the brutal terror attack on Israel last month. The humanitarian breakthrough comes as Israel intensifies its military operations in Gaza. Hamas says Israeli missile strikes on the northern Jabalia refugee camp killed and injured dozens of civilians. Israel says the strikes killed dozens of Hamas fighters, including a senior commander, and destroyed a tunnel complex. In Jerusalem, mourners gathered for the funeral of one of at least 16 soldiers Israel says have been killed since the start of the ground invasion. While in Tel Aviv, sirens warned of incoming rockets, sending Israelis running to shelters. Israelis we spoke to say every day is a struggle with the heartbreak and anxiety war brings. You have to take a deep breath to, to, feel, to feel the lungs with breath. With air. To feel life. To feel life, to, to, to go on. Local markets here are much emptier than usual as Israelis try to find their own way to live through a war they're being told will be long and difficult. Tina Krauss, CBS News, Tel Aviv.